Welcome back to your professional analyst training, level two cycles, semester two, class two, where we're going to talk about the weather impact, the weather conditioning of the life aspects. So in today's class, we're going to review the planets, but we're also going to add on a transit layering to the meaning of the planets. These, again, you can call them life aspects in our design so that it's not as esoteric sounding. It's not as confusing because for people who are brand new to astrology or human design, you say Saturn, they don't know what that means. Okay, so life aspects. This is a punishing life aspect. This is a disciplinarian life aspect. This is a painful life aspect. You see what I mean? It's different as far as um, translating it into understandable language for your clients because they're not like you. Most of them, not human design geeks like us. So to explain transits, we need to comprehend the frequency imprints of the program. Another word, way of saying that we could say conditioning imprint of that cycle. Cycles are all about recognizing the conditioning impact of these specific life aspects at a specific point in time during your life. So again, instead of referring to Jupiter, Mars, this, that, we have life aspects that you can say a word for, and it represents the essence of that planet's frequency. So that's one of the things that you can practice instead of saying Venus, you know, this is a values trip that you're going to go through, that kind of thing. And it may or may not have anything to do with you, but it's going to feel really personal if it's an electromagnetic. Okay. You don't have to say electromagnetic to the client because that, again, trips them up if they've never <laughs> encountered that dynamic. But we know if Venus is connecting up to one of a, um, your own imprints, it's going to feel personal, a values trip that may not have anything to do with you. Why? Because it's a transit. Now, in the solar transits, those are way more heavily weighted towards quote unquote, not self. It's still part of the smorgasbord through which you can pick and choose using your authority as far as what you're going to imbibe or take advantage of or let go of. So we're going to cover how to describe the planets or life aspects and how they influence us today. We're going to be adding on the rave psychology terms in our descriptive languaging of the transiting program. So some of the words just to try and remember some really basic words that you can use when you're describing these things to your client, we'll give you a little overview. The nodes are directional and we have either a future view or a past view. You can use those terms or perspective is another thing. Perspective was bigger. I used view because it fit on the slide. So future perspective, past pers perspective, future direction, past direction. On the moon, we can use the term drive, as you know, unconscious drive or conscious focus. So this year, your focus is going to be this, and it might be a person that's very educational for you because this is what they're going to focus you on. Is it correct for you? Use your authority to decide. With Mercury, it's thinking and communication, as you know, but it, it could also be people. So we can use the term voice here for the body, the unconscious design, or you could say it's a, a person that you're going to be communicating with, and here's what they're going to tell you what they think, what they may tell you, I should say, not gonna, <laughs> we don't want to um, insist this is the way it must be, but may, could, likely, would, those kinds of words. Venus, we have values or our standards for relationship. Now, Venus is something that may be very attractive or beautiful. We'll go over these again in detail. I'm just giving you a big picture overview. Somebody that you might uh, feel more romantic towards or loving towards. On the other side, you might be envious of, or you might really hate. So you're going to have to put that into context. Some of you have really powerful intuitions or pattern recognition or instincts. Do your best to label these things in a way that's going to be most supportive for your client. 
Okay, so you can choose from a plethora of different words and concepts. I'm giving you some really strong ideas that you can maybe experiment with, with yourself, with your fellow students, with your clients, and just say may if you're really not sure. When you have somebody who is a Mars person, we're talking about somebody with powerful potentially, <laughs> irresponsible potentially, uncoordinated energy, mutation, is another word you can use. N R G. <laughs> Uncoordinated. A person. That's where people stop. Okay, this is the inner planet sets people. When we come to the outer planet, it's the environmental frequency, but it could also be people at a distance. I get a real kick out of looking at people who come to me for. Um, readings or cycles analysis or any kind of anything, you know, deep work with me and finding myself in their transits at a distance. It's so much fun. The rule or law, the law for the cycle, maybe an even a gui kind of guidance for that cycle, if it's a larger cycle, would be coming from Jupiter. So somebody, it could be somebody at a distance coming in with this kind of law or rule that you're learning about. Remember what Jupiter is, it's a teacher. And not that you have to learn all of this or take in all of it, but it's what you're likely to encounter. I love this term that Ra gave us, encounter. So you can use that too. You may encounter this. You may witness that. You may see this. You may come to know that. Here, the words that I'm using, see, we're talking about collective. Know or come to know, we're talking about individual. You may feel anything to do with the emotional system. You might have to, um, you know, touch this or smell this or taste this to help you describe, use descriptive words of what you're talking about, hearing over time or in the moment, that kind of thing you can start to weave into your keynoting. Saturn is where there's going to become some kind of constraint or restraint, discipline from the cycle. Uranus is where we have a side track or where there might be some innovative, maybe it's in ideas, you might say innovative new ideas, so innovative in innovation when it comes to the need to be wanted, the wanting to be needed, the needs of the tribe or a sidetrack, sidetracking you. I would definitely use the term sidetrack in a solar cycle because a solar cycle is the thing that, yeah, takes us off track the most. When you're talking about Neptune, we have spirituality, art, something that's hidden. With the transit cycle, use the term misinformation. That's a transit in the solar cycle, especially. Remember, my emphasis here is to teach you the solar cycle because it's the hardest one to do and it's the most important one to do. So use misinformation. Is that inf misinformation going to connect up with them personally or are they going to feel it environmentally? The transformation and truth comes from Pluto. And Pluto, you can say, okay, the truth of this cycle is, or a truth you may have to come to grips with is, if it's tribal. A truth that you may see or that is naturally apparent to you because of the focus of this time in your life is. Or the transformation that may be empowering to you during this time is. Yeah? Do you see what I did there? Is I just started making generalities. But it's the concretization of your interpretation of what this transit is going to be. It begins with the planets and using it slightly differently. All right. So when we look at planets and transits, we're representing a specific focus or we're speaking for the gods, if you will, right? The planets are gods. So we're speaking for a specific focus in whichever learning program that you're giving them, the learning program of the solar return, the learning program of the Saturn, Uranus, Chiron, second Saturn. And in those learning programs at different times of our lives, you're going to describe it slightly differently because you're, you're talking about a slightly different uh, aspect. Oh, I forgot to mention lunar. 
not to leave out lunar returns if that is something that you decide to do for your clients. 